Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquas. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. And welcome back to my returning beautiful souls. Thank you, subscribers, for your likes, your comments, and your shares. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And welcome, Aquarius, to the ones that are new here. It is a pleasure to have you. Thank you for tuning in today. All right, please be sure to smash that like button, loves, as you all come in. And subscribe if you're new here, Aquarius. We would love to have you here a part of our soul family, all right? Definitely be sure to also adjust your notification bells for when I do go live on this platform, all right? So we're going to go ahead and dive into your reading today. We're going to see what's coming towards you for love and romance here, Aquarius, all right? Or if there's anything here for a general reading that may resonate for you as a collective Aquarius person at this time, all right? Be sure to take what resonates and leave here on the table what does not, all right? If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box, all right? All right, so no further ado, let's go ahead and dive in, Aquarius. Let's see what's coming towards Aquarius placements for love and romance. Let's see what's coming towards you for love and romance here. What do we have for Aquas for love and romance? All right, we have the death card coming out here. Scorpio energy here. Some of y'all, this person may be a Scorpio that you've exchanged energies with. We have the Ace of Swords, your energy, your element, okay? Some of y'all, this person could be an air sign like yourself that you are exchanging energies with. That could be a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius like yourself. And then we have the High Priestess here, okay? Some of y'all, this person could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio here. But the High Priestess here is indicating that whatever may have happened or transpired to your Aquarius between you and this person, you both are aware or was aware of what happened, what's going on, and what led up to this point, all right? You both are very intuitive and is able to pick up on the situation for what it obviously truly is or was. Now, this ending here, I feel like is what maybe caused some conflicts, some disagreements, some arguments, and things of that sort. Um, so let's get more diver deeper into your reading here today. Let's see what exactly is going on and has happened and transpired here. Okay, wow. Smash that like button, loves again if the reading is already resonating for you. First I have the death cards here. Why do we have the death cards here in this situation here? Calling angels, ancestors, cousins. The death card, Scorpio energy here. What has been put to an end here? <clears throat> this relationship could have came to an end. Uh, this person here may have put some type of pattern or behavior to an end. All right, there was some type of ending here that has to place, okay? Clarify the death card. Why we have the death card here in Aquarius's energy? Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups here. All right. Some of y'all, this person could be a uh, Pisces, a Scorpio again, or a Cancer. So whoever this person here is that you exchange energies here with, this card also indicates the past. As you can notice, the Cups or behind him, and he's looking back here from his past, from people and experiences that he had love for, and things of that sort. So some of y'all, this here is someone that you loved from your past, okay? But you finally been able to put things to an end with this situation here, realizing that, yes, I do love this person, but no, I am not deserving of the way that I'm being treated or how the situation was handled here. So let's clarify. 
Let's get more of that Six of Cups. Let's get more energy on the Six of Cups here for you, Aquas. Clarify the Six of Cups, please. We got the Ten of Swords here, Air Element, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So, yeah, that's just confirmation for what I just mentioned here with the Death card. That you have decided to put this situation and circumstance here to an end. You're no longer going to involve with this person's shenanigans and the things that they've done towards you. Uh, you've invested, excuse me, a lot of time in this person here. So let's clarify the Ace of Swords here. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Just want to make sure you are able to see the cards here. Bear with me one moment, Aquas. That's my OCD over here kicking in. All right, clarify the Ace of Swords. Why we have the Ace of Swords here? Oh, shit. Got too many spirits. Y'all getting y'all these cards. There ain't no point in me complaining because I got to take them. We got the Horrifant. Oh, Horrifant. Horrifant. That's Taurus energy. Some of y'all, this person might be a Taurus. So this was based off of a commitment here. My um, higher self, my spirit is definitely speaking out here. So there was a situation here where you were either committed to this person, more like in a long-term relationship or marriage with this person here. Um, and a lot of things that you did not see in the past or in this commitment you're now starting to see as you are reflecting in this hermit core energy where you're isolating yourself from people you kind of shut things down from the norm that you used to do maybe a, a certain group a certain circle that you would hang out with you haven't been doing that lately you've kind of been closed off into yourself um, you've been more isolated inward and focusing and reflecting on your past relationship here we got here the Queen of Cups here, and then we have the Moon card. Yeah, so there could have been some type of hidden information that you discovered about your partner, about this person here, about this Queen of Cups. Okay, we got the Six of Wands here, Leo energy. Some of y'all, this person could have been a Leo or a Virgo here as well. All right, and then we have your energy, the Star card, the Ace of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Swords, okay? So this tells me that this person here, the good news about this situation here, um, rather if you want to hear this or not, this is this channel is all about evolving here because I know that this person done some things that you did not like about this person or you did not agree with, okay? Because why? There's a lot of swords here. So I know there was a lot of portrayal situations and circumstances that, that took place awkward between you and this person. But the good thing about this situation here is, is that I see that this person here has learned from this experience with you, which was the main um, goal in this relationship, rather we want to see it that way or not. You know, things don't happen by accident. So it was definitely my beliefs, I would say. Everyone has their own different beliefs and I respect your beliefs. It's like I respect mine. Um, so the fact here is, is that this person has evolved. You got the death card out here. You got the hermit card and you got the star card. They definitely have been through a spiritual awakening and has reflected on their behavior. You know, and I feel like it took that 10th sword for them to realize this. This was a pattern with this person that was going on for quite some time with that ace of swords. That's the truth. You know? Um, yes, this person has a lot to make amends for. That's for sure. They got a long list of it. But, you know, this is a start for this person's energy here. Let's clarify the high priestess. Let's see what you both already know. Because with that moon card coming out, that indicates that there was some type of deception here that was trying to be kept away from you. Or, you know, it first started out as a secret until you found out about it. Clarify, as a matter of fact, let's clarify what this moon card is. Let's see what the secret here was. Wow, well, again, if the reading here today, Aquas, is resonating for you, smash that like button, loves, right? 
It'd be very much appreciated. If you, again, would love to book a personal reading to get more insight, more details, to see what the potential outcome for you two may be, my email details is down below, again, in the description box, okay? Let's clarify the moon card. Let's see exactly what was the deception energy, what was kept hidden a secret here. Clarify the moon card, please, dear God. Well, we have the moon card here. Clarify the moon card. We got her the seven of pentacles. The secret was is that this person wanted to invest in a connection here with you or something. Let's see what that is. Clarify the seven of pentacles. This person could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Pisces, or a Cancer here. Clarify the seven of pentacles. What was this person secretly wanting to invest in? you they wanted to invest in you but they was keeping it a secret so this could have been someone with their queen of cups out there that scorpio energy council pisces energy uh so this was someone that was married and they were involved now this is for some of you all i'm just it's automatically trying to come through so i need to go ahead and channel it out uh, I do not expect this portion of what I am about to channel out to resonate, but it's coming out because I'm being shown the cards in my consciousness here. So I need to um, speak this message for someone. Again, I digress. However, here with that moon card coming out with the seven of pentacles here, for some of you all, this situation here is, is that this person was secretly trying to manifest an opportunity with you. But they knew that they were, a.k.a. as why the high priest is here. So this tells me that you both knew in this situation that at this point, this was involved as a third party. And, of course, you did not want to be involved or no longer be involved in a third party situation with this person. So you decided here to hold your energy back from this person and you informed them of that. So this person was manifesting you but not informing this other person partner or spouse or whomever this energy was to this person about what they were planning here behind scenes it's almost as if his, he's sneaking away taking his things and wanting to sneak out or get out or just in this case making sure that what he's investing is behind closed doors not sharing it with his partner so you i feel like aquarius with this moon card here and this high priestess was aware of this for some of you all not all of you all Okay, and because of this, this is where you decide to pull your energy back. And this person was wanting to invest in you, but was not informing the spouse here or the partner here. And that's where things became a conflict here. How does Aquarius feel about this person? How does Aquarius feel about this person with the Two of Swords? And I feel like now that this person here is coming towards you and telling you that they want to invest in you, some of you all are indecisive right now with that Two of Swords. You don't know if you should, if you should accept this person's offer or not, because I get it. Because like I said, they are not approaching you, Aquarius, like they did in the past. Hell, they don't even look the same. Some of y'all, this person is not even talking the same. You know, they're now, of course, telling you things that you would love to hear, right? But, you know, trying to look over all the past situations and circumstances, for some of y'all, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to take this person serious because of the brutal or betrayal acts that this person did towards you. That's what's making it difficult for you to accept this person's apology or to just accept their offer here, period, that they're wanting to, uh, you know, invest or start over in this connection here. Okay, so I kind of see you are picking up on this person's new way of doing things. You're seeing that it's totally a different energy, um, you know, you're liking that, but at the same time, you're a little frustrated, and this is why you haven't made a decision here yet. You're maybe kind of like, you know, straddling the fence. You got one foot in, one foot out. How does Aquarius feel about this person here with the two of swords? How does Aquarius feel about this person? Here? 
Queen of Aquarius. Turn the back of this person. The Five of Pentacles. It's almost as if you're disappointed in this person. You know, and some of y'all feel like you have regrets for dating this person. But some of y'all, you're at a financial loss behind this person because of the choices that they decide to make in this connection. And you're having to financially rebuild and reestablish yourself here. Yeah. And until you receive justice, you're not going to accept this person as back into your life because you are aware that you were treated very unfairly in this situation here. So let's see what does this person here want to say. Now we've gotten all the insight and details and the background of this circumstance here and situation. Let's see what they want to say here to you. We got they are watching you. Okay, so they are definitely watching and observing you. Of course they are because this is someone that is obviously having a difficult time with letting you go. Um because they're used to you being around every day so they watch you a lot we got i will make it all up for you then we got you so fine yeah like i said they're still attracted to you which is that hasn't changed and then we have you told me the truth all right so you told this person the truth and they chose to do other with that truth right and then we got fake, fake, fake. So uh, that's where that moon card come in there. This is where you found out that the things that this person maybe did or said towards you was fake. It wasn't true. It wasn't honest. And they were maybe even acting fake for some of y'all. Because there's a lot of swords out here. I'm sure there are some circumstances where this person was wearing a false mask at one time. We got haters here, okay? And this person could have involved other third-party outside influencers that could have also affected the relationship or tried to keep you two separated here. And then the last card we have is, I can't get you out my head. Wow. So this person here consistently, you know, consistently has this, this mindset that where you go over and over, I feel like in their mind or the conversations that you two have had here goes over and over again. And then, wow, the last card we have is I am sorry. Yep. I knew this was coming eventually. This person's going to want to come in and make amends with you or definitely apologize to you for their behavior patterns here. Okay. Wow, Aquas. Again, if the reading here so far is resonating for you, smash that like button and loves. And yes, get this message out. Share, 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 share this message here with who you know the reading today may resonate for. And definitely hit that like button and get this message out in the algorithm for who needs to hear this message. All right. So now we're going to close out here, Aqua, with my Moonology deck here to get you some word advice from the universe. All right. Let's get you some word advice on everything here that has happened up to this day and has taken place here. Let's see what word advice the universe has for you. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. We got a new romantic cycle begins. Yes. Wow, congratulations, Aqua. You have a new romantic cycle beginning. Now, look at there. Who would have ever thought? I know this card caught me off by surprise, okay? So, some of y'all may have been caught off by surprise, or you're going to be caught off by surprise by someone significant that's going to come into your life, and this is going to be a new romantic cycle, all right? Wow. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading, we could definitely dive into this energy to pull out the Love Romance Angel deck to see who is this person going to be, all right? And when are they coming, okay? So definitely, if you would like to know more details about that, uh, definitely email me and we can set you up a personal reading, all right? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Again, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, subscribe. All right, we would love to have you here part of our soul family for when we do go live on this channel throughout the week for Waken Tarot. So be sure to set your notification bells. I do go live just about every day for all zodiac sign readings. 
And I do also go live for questions as well if you have a question to be answered, okay? So definitely uh, make sure to keep up with the community board there so you don't miss out on any new content on this channel. And if you would love to extend your stay aquas and become part of the Patreon family, that link is also on the homepage. That's where you get early access to all my content here. And you also get free questions every time I go live for my Patreon family behind the scenes, all right? So definitely that's something that you're interested in. I would love to meet you there. All right. Thank you so much, Aquas. And I wish you and this person here the best. All right. Bye-bye.